We've gone way too long about uh, without talking about the, the number one topic in all of football right now is uh, how we bend uh, Taylor Swift props this weekend. Oh, how, how we, Will, don't 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 make that noise, Will. Oh, I, 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 know, I know you're in on Taylor Swift. Will, you have you have young daughters, Will. We know they're Swifties. Not yet. No, I mean, Kelsey's got to be careful. You know, Taylor Swift goes through boyfriends like I don't know, like the Houston Texans go through head coaches. So Kelsey got to be careful here. Uh, this is a <laughs> tough spot for him. I don't know. Is there an angle for Kelsey to score a touchdown here? Figuring she's going to be uh, supposedly at the game on, on no. Sunday night. Um, OK, OK. This might be one. This isn't a, do not this isn't a do not game, wager. So. Do not wager on Kelsey to score a touchdown because Taylor Swift is in the audience. Like Patrick Mahomes is not thinking of himself. I got to get this man a score because Taylor Swift is in the crowd. Do do not. If you're wagering this game, for, if you want to put that down because you think he might score because of the matchup. Great. But please do not do that because Taylor Swift is in the crowd. That, that never came up in the locker room. Like it, you, it, it you, never music, did. Musicians were in the. It never the did. Stands. No, no, it was never something that we had to worry about. Yeah, but this is different now. This is Taylor Swift. Like she was, she was into that game too. What, what I, I love the stories like that came out afterwards about like was she in this popcorn machine? Is that how like they got her into the stadium? And like, well, so her, for her concerts, they bring her in this janitorial cart. That's how they sneak her into her concerts. So they, there's a thought that maybe they snuck her in Arrowhead Stadium using the same exact method. See, I, I, I don't know. Again, I would hear, I would hear a song. I, I would know her voice if I heard it, but I couldn't tell you the name of one song or, or any. I know, I know. Sam, Sammy, Sammy, I think has seen her multiple times. So I know you're, you're dialed in on this. Yeah, big time, big fan. Uh, Kelsey's probably going to be like minus one ninety to score a touchdown too, because everybody's going to bet it. It's going to be minus one ninety. You watch. So you know what that means. Other way, take the is plus there money no on the no. Are these are these two way markets? I don't bet these a lot. Can you bet no touchdown? Probably, probably in most not. places you can't. Probably in most places no. These bookies, it's too bad. I would never suggest this. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I usually I, don't say this, but yeah, this might be a night where like baseball season's over. This is a Sunday night game. This isn't a Fox <laughs> game. So when this is twenty one to three at halftime, this might be one of these nights where you can just catch up on some sleep because this I, I don't know how much <laughs> Zach Wilson I can watch. Trevor Simeon, I don't think he's gonna play. I mean, this might be one just catch up on some sleep. Jeez. Depressing. I, I've watched enough Chiefs football over the last couple of years. Um, this game does kind of scream ugly for the Chiefs. Like we're in the third quarter and it's 13 to three. And you're like, why are the chiefs not blowing this team out? I'm not saying it's going to be a game where you watch will the entire game, but the chiefs have sort of had their away game clunkers. Like they lost the Colts last season for no reason. They've had sort of these games where it's like, they should win this game by a lot, but they're sort of not. And this feels like a game this weekend where they played really against the bears. The jets are desperate. Obviously if the jets lose this game, their season is, and we can argue oh, the season's over anyways. already, but, but there's a, probably a thought within the building as a, as a former player, like they still think they can win. I know they can. It's the way they feel about it, but they get, they get blown out by the chiefs. Like there's a possibility here that this game is much closer than we think it is for a good portion of the game before really the jets offense crumbles and the jets defense, like just can't withstand the onslaught of the chiefs offense. I need to ask you this because again, you've been in the locker room and yeah. you, you know, Publicly, Robert Sala has been no. Uh, Zach's our quarterback. Oh, he's looked good in practice. It's other, other. It's not just. It's not him. There are other things. Publicly, he has to say that. Yeah. Privately, he knows the guy can't play. Right. Correct. Yes, he knows that. And and I think that's the the most disappointing thing for me um, about the Jets is, is that they really had no backup plan for Aaron Rodgers. It was like Aaron Rodgers were all in. And that's it. Look how many backups there are right now. Just being competent. Gardner Minshew won a game in Baltimore, right? Jameis Winston, I know they lost the game in New Orleans, but a competent backup. Like, there's plenty of teams that, I have, like the Saints this week. that, that have competent backups. But that's more of a fate of uh, of the Bucks. Like, I think it's it's like there's competent backups to be had. And with the Jets' makeup, the run game, the wide receiving weapons they have, I know the offense line's beat up. And the defense, you could have sustained, not won a Super Bowl, but sustained a, a 8-8, and 9-8 season with, like, a decent backup backup quarterback instead they didn't do that they said you know what we trust Zach Wilson who hasn't shown in his career to be any good and so that's the mistake they made it's not playing Zach Wilson now it's that they didn't have any backup to Aaron Rodgers they said it's Aaron Rodgers or bust which I get I get why they did that but look at the like look at the contenders around the NFL they sort of all have a backup quarterback who's competent like they all sort of have someone that they trust in moments if a quarterback is out to win them games and look again you're not going to Super Bowl with, with a backup quarterback but you can be a competent team with a backup quarterback and and kind of keep your team afloat Zach Wilson provides them no opportunity to do that Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.